are now checked in with DJ Charisma, only on Power 106. What's up, man? It's your girl, DJ Charisma, and we are officially checked in exclusively right here on Power 106. And you know how I do it. Man, we're checking in with the hottest talent in the streets, bubbling, making noise right now. And yo, we got another queen in the building today. Noki Cabrera in the Thank building. You. What's up? What's up? How are the you? The Cuban Charisma? princess is here. I'm here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm excited to have you because you 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 are definitely bringing a whole new flavor to the music game. Right. Trap salsa. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's definitely very different. I feel like and very authentic to what's really going on in the Spanish world right now. Mm. Yes, because you know reggaeton. It, it's been big yeah, the yeah, last yeah. two years. Yeah, yeah. But you you're bringing a different flavor. Trap salsa, and that's also the name of your EP that just came out. That's correct, yes. So why don't you explain to us, what is Trap Salsa to you? Well, Trap Salsa to me is definitely about a project about love. It's about optimism and finding the beauty in life. Um, you know, it's just good vibes, good energy. I wanted to bring something happy, a uh, uplifting project, especially with what's going on right now. I just wanted to uplift the people right. and remind everybody of who we are and what we stand for as Latinos, you know? Hey, what better kind of music than salsa? Salsa's always been like right. such a happy, makes you want to move. High energy, you know, Absolutely. lots of percussions going on in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, trumpets. You, you're from that. Cuba, correct? Well, I'm not. I was born in oh, Florida, family. but my family, yeah, they're straight from Cuba. Came off the boat, so um, both of my parents, my whole family's in Cuba as well. So, damn, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So Spanish is my first language. I really grew up in a very Cuban household, but I'm also very American too because <laughs> I grew up in America. Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, Cuban, like your your music salsa, like you actually got some samples, some 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 interpolations going on in there from like the Queen Celia Cruz. Celia Cruz, absolutely. You know? Yeah, that's in La Vida, and I just dropped the video out for that, so make sure you guys check that out. It's called La Vida. Um, it's uh, La Vida es un Carnaval by Celia Cruz, so I mm. sampled some of her stuff in the chorus, so. Yeah, that was fun to do. And that video just dropped yesterday, right? Correct? Yeah, uh, two days ago. Two days ago. Two so days that ago. video is out right now. You look fire in the video. Thank you. She's got her choreography popping. She's right. Got, you know we practiced I mean? in the moves a little bit, you know? <laughs> Definitely. So, like, you're a newer artist. Um, how long have you been doing music, like... Or is this just well, something super brand new for you? It's definitely not brand new to me at all. I've been singing, like, since I can remember. Mm. Um, I've always been just wanted to be like on Disney Channel and all that stuff. That's right. But um, I think I started taking it more serious. So I was in sixth grade. I was like singing. I was in band class and my music teacher heard me singing like an Adele song. It was like, oh my God, sing that again. Oh, so that ain't like, easy. Adele, that is not easy. <laughs> I was easy. singing Rolling in the Deep actually. Ooh, okay. Yeah, when that was like popping. I was like in sixth grade and then he took me to the studio. He was the f one of the first people to really like believe in me and that was my first time in a studio he had like the whole band play the guitar for me and all that good stuff and then that's when I went back to Florida and I was in high school and I started making my own music like in my closet I bought a mic and stuff and I put my song on SoundCloud and that's when the first time I got a really great response out mm. of people like a lot of views like a lot of people in my school were like oh my god I love your <laughs> new song and it just like kind of encouraged me to keep going and I was like wow people like my music people like me like this is definitely something I can actually pursue because it's always been a dream of mine but to get a good response out of it was very encouraging Priceless, yeah yeah and then when I turned 18 I moved to New York I drove over there like just very out Hustlers of the book <laughs> you gotta be a hustler you can't be scared out here yeah you, know no, what I mean? you, you just gotta go for it yeah for sure you gotta take risks and I never really had fear or doubt in myself so I just kind of took that leap of faith and I drove out there and I ended up being an intern at a studio in Times Square so that was fun too and then I just started really building ever since I was like putting out my own videos my own music it was a different flavor from the Spanish stuff I'm doing right now but yeah, and then that's when I came out to California, like, right when, like, COVID started. Mm. And then just, like, kind of transformed. Definitely. Into... And I think you're going on the right route, you know, just the whole trap, the idea of trap salsa. Because, you know, like we said, we have so much Spanish reggaeton trap, you know. But yeah. to hear, like, salsa mixed in with trap. Yeah. It's a crazy combination. Yeah, that is a crazy and combination. And I would like to give a, a shout-out to your producer who helped you produce all the tracks on this current EP because he really captured that sound. Yeah, he definitely did. Shout-out to Britton, for real. He's so talented, and we've been working super close, and he's helped a lot with the with the project, and he's so talented, too. You know, I had a friend, Memphis, and KP helped produce the project as well, but for the most part, Britton took the lead on the whole thing. 
Definitely. Uh, so, like, there's about, what, six, seven songs on the EP? There's six. Six, six songs, songs on the EP. Mm-hmm. Out of the six, what is your personal favorite that you want fans to, like, yo, this is my baby right here. When you listen to this one. so hard. I really have two favorites. But I would have to say number one is Trap Salsa. Uh-huh. Just because it is the trap the with the salsa. Yeah, it's the theme. The it's, it just makes you, as soon as you hear it, you just want to dance and move. And it's just, like, good energy. It has a beautiful message. So... I think that would have to be number one for me. But the number two is Get the Ammo, which is the last song on the project. Fire, fire record, yes. I love that one, too. And there there are no features on this, correct? No, no features. No features, no all features. you, which yeah. is was a great move, because like, we really trying to get to know you, because mm-hmm. you are the Trap Salsa flavor that we're bringing. Right, bringing, right, right. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we have one video out. We have the EP out. This is all happening fast. You know, you made it. Like, I seen Billboard, Latin Billboard shouting you yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen, huge. like, Spotify, Apple shouting you out. How, yeah. how does that feel? It feels amazing. It's it's so crazy to get as much as support I've been getting from Apple Music, Spotify, even just the people that have been supporting me on social media, friends, family. It's so it's so amazing. And I think the most rewarding part for me is that people really enjoy the sound and are liking the music. Yeah, and that was fun. like Yeah. People really like it. And that's like that means everything to me. Cause you know it's cool to like have great visuals and be present on Instagram. But I think the music is like was my main focus i really wanted it to touch others and i think it's doing its job right now so and, totally great yeah. timing you dropped it in summer it's had a yeah, total yeah, summer yeah, yeah, vibe yeah. to it it just yeah, makes absolutely. you want to feel good dance feel sexy for the ladies you yeah, know what i you mean know, you know <laughs> got exactly. us feeling ourselves <laughs> <laughs> exactly la vida is definitely for the ladies <laughs> For sure. Okay, so I know COVID's crazy, and we don't know what's gonna happen next. We don't. We don't know if we're gonna be able to do tours again. Like we don't know. Right. But like, performing live is that something that you can't wait to really get out there? Because we've been locked up. So, mm-hmm. can are you ready to get on that stage and really show people what you got? Oh yeah, absolutely. I I think that's gonna be like my favorite part about mm. it. I love. I've done some very small shows in New York, and I think that was the funnest time for me was just to be able to express myself on stage and just kind of relay that energy on stage and with my music and with the crowd of people. I just, there's something about it that's very amazing to me. Right, no, definitely. That energy is priceless. Yeah. Priceless, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's so I know you sing, but do you write? Do you like yeah, to write yeah. all your own lyrics? Like, what's oh, the yeah. process uh, uh, for you for a song? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, writing is also one of my favorite things to do as well. I've been writing, like, since I can remember, I started writing. See, we're gonna music. bring it back. We're gonna bring it back in style, man. People writing their own shit. Let's do oh, it. Yeah, absolutely. I love to work with <laughs> writers as well. Yeah, I think, you know, you should just because you have control over like what you're talking about. It's really like who you are. You get to tell the story. Mm. And of course, I have help. You know, I'll ask like Sincere or Britain, like, hey, do you guys like these melodies and stuff? And it's cool not working with people who speak Spanish because then I'll sing it to them and they don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> but it's about the feeling to them. Right. Like, this yeah. feels and sounds great. Like, yeah, do that, you know. So I get help on that end, or sometimes they'll give me a few bars and stuff. But for the most part, like, I. The wrote, story's yours. Yeah, absolutely. And that's more beautiful because that's how you really connect to artists because when it's not their story and then you find that out afterwards, it's kind of like, huh? It's like, what are you talking about? What are we talking about yeah, here? Everything I've wrote and spoken about has been very true and authentic to who I am and what I believe in. So we know Celia Cruz is definitely one of your influences. Who are three other influences that really made you want to get into this music game? Because it ain't easy, especially for a girl, man. You know, yeah, we, we out here fighting with these with yeah. these boys. So what right. made you really want to get into this? Who influenced you? Um, let's see. I love Shakira. I grew Ooh, okay, up, perfect. I grew exactly. up listening to her. She's super fire. I referenced her in the song Danga. I like Shakira, yeah, my hips, they don't lie. But, hey. <laughs> so I love her. Um, Gloria Stefan, of course. She's so, Cuban as well. Nice. Even Pitbull. Like, I grew up listening hey. to like, Pitbull. He's a guy in the industry, too, that I love. Um, Mark Anthony, of course. Definitely. He's like the king of salsa to me. So, yeah, I think, yeah. That's what's up. I love it. I love it, man. Hopefully, we'll get a collab with you and Mark Anthony one day or something. You know what I mean? But there definitely hasn't been a female artist like Shakira since Shakira. No, 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 no. There hasn't. Like Shakira's who? one of a Honestly. kind. No, she's one of a kind for sure. She just has that like 
it thing like that youthfulness the way she danced she's so natural and yeah. effortless i love what you're coming in with you're on the right m- mindset because there's such an open lane for that like like we said there hasn't been anybody since a shakira since a selena yeah you know what i mean so who is that oh, that's girl? another selena quintanilla i love her <laughs> she's right here ladies she's and gentlemen aries. she's the aries like me too or she was aries definitely so how old are you actually I just turned 21 in April. Oh, it was fresh. I love it. 21, <laughs> excited. Right. Things are I'm going. EP's now. out. Video's out right now. Yes, like, man. so much more to come from you. I love oh, it. Yeah. So this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. Shout out to Sincere Show. Shout out to your whole team. Really going hard for you right now. She's independent. Not even signed. But we got, like, everyone coming, hounding for her because she's hot. Yeah, they're they're going crazy right now but you <laughs> stay know in, stay independent though for a while you know what i mean right. make, make these labels really big right right, right. <laughs> well, yeah well right now you know we are under sincere show king show inc so you know that's that but we are you know just kind of like seeing where this is gonna go and stuff like that we're in no rush right now yeah, i think nah. the organic response has been really really cool and it's dope to see like the organic growth right now so we're really in no rush but you know God willing, we'll we'll get a great opportunity. Definitely, definitely, man. And I, I hope to see some like hip hop salsa collabs too. I think that'll be really fresh yeah, if you got like dope. some dope rappers with you. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to collab on some salsa tracks. You know, right, that'd be fire. Right, right. Definitely. Um, you're out here, man. She is out here. We got her Instagram on the screen. I just really want y'all to tap in with her. You know, yeah, here at Power do. 106, we represent hip hop, but I feel like she is riding the line so perfectly. It's a perfect trap Thank salsa you. mix. Thank you. Check her out. Tap in with her. And uh, I can't wait to get you back in here when you're yeah. super, yeah, super right? popping. Right? Interview part two. But like, so where are you at right now? <laughs> oh, you know, all over the world. Oh, you know, I got to watch like charisma. <laughs> Ice on my neck. Hey, I love it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Trap Salsa, six fire ass records. It's out right now on all platforms. Be sure to go check it out. And uh, let us know in the comments which what record is your favorite. Yeah, please let me know. I would love to hear it. We just want that feedback, man. Yeah. She's just getting yeah. started. I guarantee y'all. Keep your eyes on her, man. All right? Yeah, thank you, Charisma. I appreciate it. Hey, we checked in exclusively Thanks. right here. Power 106 Trap Salsa. Yo, go check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Thank you so much.